आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस और बाय यूजिंग द आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस लास्टली वी हैव सीन द स्टेट स्पेस सर्च अप्रोच टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम and using that we have solved the different problems and yesterday only uh, one problem we have solved that is the famous uh, water jet problem and uh, i have given you the example uh, related with that also so number of students have solved it correctly and uh, uh, related with that the correct solution i have also post on the uh, whatsapp group okay so you can check it accordingly now another approach uh, in case of the artificial intelligence uh, that is being utilized to solve the problem which is slightly different from the uh, approach that we are using up till like uh, approach we have used the state space uh, state space search approach okay now today we are going to see the constraint satisfaction approach or which is being famously also referred as the constraint satisfaction problem in case of the artificial intelligence okay now <clears throat> in case of the second unit most of the question being asked on the csp as well as the uh, important contents that we have seen like the gold stack planning and the water jet problem etc now uh, first we understand what exactly mean by the constraint satisfaction problem okay and uh, then we understand the different uh, kind of problem which is available in the world in the real world uh, which comes under the category of the constraint satisfaction okay now uh, in case of the artificial intelligence and uh, operation research okay this is the definition i have written here the constraint satisfaction is nothing but the process of finding the solution to a problem what what is the constraint satisfaction it is the process of finding the solution to a problem by satisfying set of constraint now here the word constraint is very important what is the constraint satisfaction process of finding the solution to a problem how we can find the solution to a problem or when we can say the problem has been get solved only when certain set of constraints are get satisfied now what do you mean by the constraint then what is the meaning of constraint rules what do you think the constraint is what rules constraint are nothing but some rules or some <laughs> conditions okay so in artificial intelligence the constraint satisfaction approach is another way uh, using which the number of problems are get solved okay and what is the requirement to solve such kind of problems that you can solve that kind of problems only when certain rules will get satisfied then and then only we can say we have got the solution we are we have found the solution for certain problem okay now this is being based on some heuristic technique based on some heuristic technique in the sense what it is based on some uh, some kind of available information i hope you are remembering the meaning of this uh, heuristic okay heuristic in the sense what some available information so constraint satisfaction is a uh, this particular approach is also based on some kind of heuristic is based on some kind of available information so that's why it is being referred as it is it is a heuristic based technique okay and uh, it is being also called as the decision problem 
it is being considered satisfaction problem is also called as what the decision problem because we we have to take the decision only based on the some kind of set of constraint available okay decisions are based on what based on some kind of constraint available and getting satisfied okay so you just keep in mind this uh, short definition of the constraint satisfaction now this definition will clear with some uh, different kind of example and that time you will get the clear idea what exactly mean by the constraint satisfaction problem is okay what the definition says it is the process of finding the solution to a problem how we can find the solution to a problem or when we can get the solution to a problem only when when <clears throat> certain constraint or certain rules get satisfied okay understood this much yes sir okay now uh it is different from the way we have uh, solved the problem uh, using the state space representation okay it is how it is different uh, we'll understand it when you see some examples related with the constraint satisfaction problem now here i have mentioned some of the popular example related with the constant satisfaction problem okay and in that you can see one popular example is related with the graph coloring problem then another important example uh, is the n quins problem which also come under the category of the csp and another important and popular one is the sudoku which also comes under the category of constraint satisfaction problem approach now we are going to discuss this uh, this all the examples and then you will get the clear idea what exactly mean by the constraint satisfaction problem in case of the artificial intelligence and how it get solved okay now here first we have taken the example of sudoku okay i i hope a number of uh, all of you must be knowing about what exactly the sudoku game is what is the sudoku game sudoku game is the one of the example of constant satisfaction problem yes what is the sudoku have you played the sudoku game Mm. Yes, sir. What is it? What are the rules for Sudoku? Sudoku. Okay, let me tell you. Here we can you can see here this kind of game as a Sudoku game is playing on. Uh, is it, it it play on the grid of nine by nine spaces. It played on where on the particular what you can say on the platform of the nine by nine spaces. Okay. within the rows and columns there are the nine uh, within within the rows and columns there are the nine square made up of 3 by 3 spaces you can see this this particular this particular uh, platform or this particular scenario this is consist of the 9 by 9 spaces 9 by 9 in the sense there are nine rows are there yes or no there are how many rows are there nine rows are there and there are nine columns are there yes understood and if you see there are total nine square within that whole uh, whole big square there are how many square nine small squares are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay so in order to play the sudoku game you need the this kind of uh, uh, scenario okay this kind of okay this kind of uh, setup you need okay where there are the nine rows and the nine columns and within that whole large square there are the nine small square are available and each of these each of these nine small square are made up of 3 by 3 spaces may this if you see this small square it is made up of three columns this uh, this column 1 2 3 and it made up of the three rows 1 2 3 yes or no yes sir okay 
and no so this is the setup for the sudoku and what exactly how this game actually get played now how this game played here you can see each row column and square needs to be fill out with the numbers from 1 to 9 you are getting how how this game get played each row column and square need to fill out with what numbers 1 to 9 without repeating any numbers within the row column or the square what does it mean yes what does it mean sir hmm. means uh, uh, pratyek row madhe 1 to 9 number ala pahije ani repeat ah. ni zala pahije kontas column madhe tasas ani square madhe pan square madhe pan tasas for example ha tumcha ek complete column hai barobar correct ha kay tumcha ek complete hmm. column hai तर या कॉलम मध्य वन टू नाइन मतला एक ही नंबर का रिपीट होता कामा नहीं गॉट द पॉइंट इन द सिमिलर वे दिस इज युअर कंप्लीट रो करेक्ट नाउ इन दिस कंप्लीट रो देर शुड नॉट यू हैव टू प्लेस द नंबर वन टू नाइन एंड देर शुड नॉट बी रिपीटेशन ऑफ एनी नंबर करेक्ट इन द सिमिलर वे the same thing has to be follow within this small square within this small square also you have to place number 1 to 9, 9 and there should not be repetition of any number got the point yes sir yes so this is nothing but the way the sudoku game is get played understood now where the where does the constraint come here what is the constraint here what is the constraint here in case of this sudoku game without repeating any number Const cons go. constraint is what you have to place the 1 to 9 number correct mm -hmm. and when you are placing this number the care must be taken the number should not get repeated on that particular row column and within that particular square, square of 3 by square. 2 got the point yes sir that is the thing but the constraint and when you can when you can win this game when you can you win this game when you play this game by satisfying this constraint yes or no yes sir when you can win this game when you play the yes, game sir. when you play the game by satisfying this constraint and if you play the game by satisfying this constraint then it means you are satisfying the constraint yes or no yes sir and this is that is this is the that this is the example which is showing what is the constraint satisfaction approach in the artificial intelligence you know to solve the problem now here playing the game is one of the problem yes or no yes sir so you know to solve such kind of problem for example sudoku and if you want to reach to the goal you have to you have to follow the constraint or you have to satisfy the constraint and by satisfying the constraint if you reach to the goal then it can be said you have got the solution and that solution you have got using which approach constraint satisfaction approach got the definition now yes sir what definition yes. we have see, we have seen it is the process of finding the solution, solution. by satisfying the constraint. constraint got the point now Yes sir. yes sir so this is that is not about the concept of constraint satisfaction problem in case of the artificial intelligence so here same thing i have mentioned you can see from the image uh, this image the actual sudoku grid is given here and each sudoku grid comes with the few spaces already fill in tar yacha ha game madhe kasa asta kai space tumhala already fill dalela astat understood ani remaining space jase yamadhe dakhole tumhala ha jo square hai 
याच्यामध्ये काही स्पेस फील ऑलरेडी फील ऑलरेडी फील येत बरोबर सम स्पेसेस आर रिमेनिंग सो यू हॅव टू फील दॅट स्पेसेस हाऊ यू हॅव टू फील दॅट स्पेसेस बाय सॅटिस्फाईंग दिस काइंड ऑफ कन्स्ट्रेंट येस ऑर नो ओके अँड डिफिकल्टी ऑफ दिस गेम ओके लेवल ऑफ द कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी ऑफ दिस गेम डिपेंड्स ऑन हाऊ मेनी स्पेसेस आर फील मीन्स वॉट If more number of spaces are filled, it means the complexity of game is less. Yes or no? Yes. And if less number of spaces are already filled, then it means the complexity of game is higher. The same point I have mentioned: the more spaces fill in, the easier the game, and more difficult Sudoku puzzle have very few spaces that are already filled. okay so you try you can play, play this kind of game okay so this sudoku game is the one of the popular example related with the constraint satisfaction approach okay now related with this we have to understand some uh, basic components or some basic attributes of csp that you have to explain in the exam also what are that basic attributes or the components so here are following are the main components of the constraint satisfaction problem so there are the three main uh, components related with the csp now these uh, these components we are going to require when we are going to study the subsequent part related with the csp now what are that three components that three components are being represented using the uh, three uh, uh, okay alphabets i have written v d and c here first one first one is the v which is stands for the finite number of variables first component of csp is what v which is stands for what finite set of variable finite set of variable in the sense like v1 v2 v3 up to the vn like this understood but what exactly mean now in case of these in case of these sudoku game setup what what is the variables in case of this sudoku setup what is the variables now here in given sudoku example the available spaces where we have to make the entry what the available spaces where we have to make the entry or or, or where we have to put the values are called as the variables means these spaces you can see this space this space these 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 are already fill spaces also he ja spaces ahe this spaces is nothing but what finite set of variables you got the point yes what is the first component finite variables and now what exactly that finite variable the available spaces where we have to make the entry that are called as the variables got the point yes so here these are the variables Yes, all of you can able to see. I am marking. Yes, sir. So uh, yes, these, sir. So these these are the nothing but the variables. So that is the first component. First component is what finite set of variables. Second component is the D, which stands for the domains. What second component is the D, which stands for what the domains. Now, what exactly domain is? Now, domains are nothing but domains is nothing but. the value that you are going to place in that certain variables what what do you mean by the domains the values that has to be placed in certain variables now in case of this sudoku setup what is what is our domain numbers numbers values. in case of this given sudoku setup our domain is our domain is nothing but these values or the numbers from 1 to 9 got the second component also yes yes sir so first component is the set of finite variables and second component is nothing but the finite set of uh, domains okay domains. In, in case of the given example sudoku uh, i have shown you the which, where are the variables and i have uh, and our domains are nothing but the uh, values or the numbers from 1 to Nine. All of you can able to see the screen. Yes, sir. And yes, third sir. important component 
in case of the csp is nothing but the set of constraint most important third component is what set of constraint or rule that specify allowable allowable combination of some values okay now in case of given uh, this sudoku example what is our domain uh, sorry what is our constraint Hmm. In case of given this Sudoku game, what is our constraint? Sir, the repeat ne thali koi jete na. That is the rule. That is our constraint. Mm -hmm. You have to use mm -hmm. the value from one to nine, one to nine. and there and should no not repetition. be no repetition of values on same row, same column, and within a same square. Square. Box. Understood. and this is nothing but your yes, third sir. important component of constraint satisfaction problem question always being ex, uh, asked explain the constraint satisfaction problem with suitable example with its components and here we have taken the suitable example of what the sudoku game and uh, we have also discuss the three important components related with the constraint satisfaction approach which are the three components first is which first component variable variable second domain 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 and third one is the constraint constraint and here i have shown you the sample here i have shown you the sample sudoku unsolved unsolved sudoku and this is the solved sudoku where you can see if you see this square you will you will not see any repetition of number here okay and you can also see in this particular whole column you will not see any repetition of number and here in this row also what are the point yes okay. sir let's let let me give you the another example which is related with the constant satisfaction that is the popular one graph coloring problem you must be aware of this graph coloring problem what is it hmm graph coloring problem is what in the computer graphics you must have studied hmm graph coloring in the sense we have to color the graph what we have to color the graph or here you can see or we have to color the vertex of the graph which is the graph coloring problem is also called as the vertex vertex coloring is the most common graph coloring problem the problem is what given the m number of colors problem is what we have given the m number of colors and we have to find a way of coloring these vertices of the graph अपने का वर्टाइसेस दिल ग्राफ तो अपना कलर कराए बट देर इज देर यू हेव टू फॉलो सम कंस्ट्रेंट व्हाट कंस्ट्रेंट यू हेव टू फॉलो नो टू एडजस्टेंट वर्टाइसेस आर कलर यूजिंग द सेम कलर व्हाट इज द कंस्ट्रेंट हियर नो टू एडजस्टेंट वर्टाइसेस आर कलर यूजिंग द सेम कलर मीन्स इफ दिस इज युअर वन वर्टाइस ऑफ द ग्राफ its adjacent vertices is which this one yes or no yes sir also this one yes sir also this one so if you give the blue color to this vertices now we cannot give the blue color here also you should not give the blue color here and also you should not give the blue color here understood now so here i have mentioned m is equal to 3 m is indicating what no uh, given colors and node given is how many 10 nodes are given understood so using this three colors using this three colors we have to color the whole graph and while you when you can say you have successfully solved this problem when you able to color the all the vertices of the graph where there should not be two adjacent vertices are color using the same color and that's why the graph coloring problem also comes under the example of 
constraint satisfaction approach because here you know to solve this graph coloring problem you have to follow some constraint all of you are agree you know to color the graph you have to follow some constraint what is the constraint here in graph coloring problem There must be no two edges vertices yeah, is same color. should have the same color that is the constraint then what is the what are the variables here nodes what are the variables in case of the graph coloring problem what i told you regarding the variable नंबर ऑफ नोड्स की जे आपल्याला काय करायचे कलर करायचे हे हे तुमचे वर्टाइसेस किंवा नोड्स हे झाले सगळे तुमचे काय व्हेरिएबल्स आणि डोमेन डोमेन कलर डोमेन्स इज नथिंग बट युअर दिस दैट गिवन थ्री कलर्स रेड आई थिंक हियर द रेड ग्रीन ब्लू करेक्ट रेड ग्रीन ब्लू ब्लू so this is another popular example that is the graph coloring problem which is related with the constraint satisfaction here also here also our de our definition uh, is uh, applicable what definition of constraint satisfaction problem we have seen it is the process of solving the problem how by satisfying the constraint yes or no here also you know to solve this graph coloring problem how we can solve the problem by satisfying the this kind of constraints understood the second example yes sir okay let me take you the another third and most popular example of the constraint satisfaction approach in case of the artificial intelligence that is the n queen problem what is it n queen problem what the n queen problem says hmm can you tell me anything from the given um, that uh, diagram figure hmm what is the constraint variables and the domains here and uh, you should know about the n queens problem i have you studied the subject uh, da huh third year in third year you must have studied na which subject that is uh, da is yes. about, huh? n q problem huh? n q problem What is the that is I am asking. Sir, the horizontal line vertically queen represents. Hmm. आवाज़ इतना ही तो. Yes. What is the n queen problem? Hmm. Yes. What is the n queen problem? The queens place karajat. The diagram, मुझे कॉलम में दे बंदी क्वीन नहीं पाई जे दूसरी डायगोनल डायगोनल दे पन नहीं पाई जे यानी बट रोज में दे पन नहीं पाई जे कहाँ नहीं पाई जे कॉलम में तो ते एट because if they if the two queens okay. comes on the same column row or the diagonals then it is being said that two queens can attack each okay. other that is nothing but mm -hmm. the n queens problem the same thing i have mentioned this problem is to find the arrangement of the n queens now here n n can be a 4 8 or likewise 
okay so the problem is to find the arrangement of the n queens on the chess board such that no queen can attack any other queen on the board so we, when we have to we have to we have to solve this problem and the end output of the end out of the pro, end output of the problem should be such a, such a way that there should not be two queens attacking each other but when we can say the two queens cannot attack each other when when there are the no two queens are present on the same row same column and on the same diagonal understood so in another words n queen is the problem of placing the n chess queen here as i told you n can be a 4 8 Four or eight, etc. The n queen is the problem of placing the n chess queens on n by n chess board. n by n chess board. If the four queens, four by four chess board. If eight queens, eight by eight chess board. So the n queen problem is the problem of placing the n chess queens on the n by n chess board, so that no two queens can attack each other. understood now you know to solve this problem what is the constraint tell me in order to solve the n queen problem what what is the solution what we want we don't want the queens to be get attack each other yes or no yes now when we yes. can say that two queen two or more than two queens will not attack each other when it will be possible when it come in the same line when it possible that no two queens will attack each other okay if no two queens are if, present in same column rows and if diagonal. not more than one queen will come in the same column yes. same row or on the same diagonal yes or no yes so constraint is what constraint is what then constraint is nothing but what the no two queen should be on the same column same row same and the row. same diagonal yes understood so that is nothing but the constraint in case of the n queens problem what is the variable suppose this is the this is the example of 4 by 4 4 by 4 board and where here we have to place the four queens correct here i have drawn the board all of you can able to see yes yes fine yes variables sir. are nothing but the these spaces which are available here where we have to place the queens yes or no mm -hmm. all the places where we can place the queen correct that are the variables then domain q domain is nothing but that queens itself q and the constraint that i already told you constraint is nothing but no two queens should be there in the same column same row and the same diagonal if this become possible if this constraint get satisfied then we can say we have solved the n queen problem yes or no yes so that is nothing but the concept of constraint satisfaction problem or constraint satisfaction approach in artificial intelligence now before this we have studied state space search technique which technique state space search technique now state space search search technique is being basically utilized for what you know to solve the problems related with what artificial intelligence yes or no yes in the similar way constraint satisfaction approach is also another technique being utilized to solve the problem in case of the artificial intelligence this is the very important statement got the point yes understood or not yes sir what i said just like previously we have yes, we have seen the number of problem being get solved using the state space search technique 
so the state space search technique is the one of the approach to solve the problem related with artificial intelligence correct yes sir yes in yes, the similar sir. way constant satisfaction is the another approach which can be also utilized to solve the problems related with the artificial, artificial intelligence. intelligence because this kind of we are expecting what this kind of problem has to be get solved by whom ai agent yes or no yes. like like the game that we have seen here we want this kind of game we want this kind of game should be played by whom the ai agent understood now yes sir to help the ai agent to play this kind of this game or to solve this yeah. kind of problems there is a utilization of such kind of technique that technique like we have seen the state space is search representation and today we have seen the one another technique that is the constant satisfaction constant. approach and the main characteristic of constant satisfaction approach is what the problem can be get solved only when certain constraint or the rules are get satisfied in order to reach to the certain solution i hope you have got the clear concept of constant satisfaction problem yes yes sir now another question that usually ask on the csp that is nothing but the algorithm and the example related with the enquiries problem solution using the back tracking what is the another thing being asked on this topic solution to the enquiries problem using back tracking technique okay now today you have understood what do we mean by the enquiries problem now tomorrow we'll discuss about how to solve that enquiries problem using the back tracking algorithm or using the back tracking technique okay so i hope today okay. all of you have got the today's session yes sir sir ha ah, yes yes sir ha ah, yes anybody want to ask anything no sir no okay okay so today we will continue with the uh, and queens problem solution using the back tracking technique okay so that's it thank from you, today's sir. session thank you all of you thank you sir thank you sir okay listen some student have sent me the only receipt of the fee but they have not sent me the registration form some student have sent me the registration form but not the receipt okay so those who have sent me the receipt they need to send me the registration form also then and then only it can be considered that your registration has been completed and only the few student have done this only i think 10 8 to 10 students have sent me the registration form and the fees received etc remaining student have to complete everything okay till the okay i have yesterday already already i have given the date like up to the 1st september okay so complete that registration and fees filling etc etc until the 1st of september okay all of you yes sir okay. yes sir